make crucial late game mistakes. But uh, so the punish timing is absolutely on point. And we do have this Ineo joining the phrase. He is so strong. And look at this rotation. This is going to be really dangerous for x tier here. He's got to go. Coming in from the side of Immortals. Rest needs to be careful. He's getting caught out. The ult is going in there. But Zenio has arrived across the map. And look at the split. The damage KO on the flank. The Prada horn. And it's so impressive to watch. The Hissy Fit goes in. The follow-up. The damage. The horn is there. And that is a play scepter. Oh, no. Look at the way they're lining this up. ALG is pushing Immortals in full retreat. The double kill. KO is going to drop. David will try and recover this, but Bobo's here on the flight. They're pushing in, they're finding it sleepy, but here's the Zenial as well. And the turn, the counter initiation coming in. Now Rocker, she's the name of the Highland, the Mali is They're just, you know, finding not, not what they need here in these initiation. Come tower falls. Completionist says ALG. They're going in here. X-Tears needs to be cautious. Here comes the Hissy Fit to stun the follow up, and that is Zenial joining the fray as well as every member of the is getting solo. They're pushing up the core. That is the damage, and that is going to be ALG taking game number one here, forcing Immortals back onto the core. The number one seed coming in and showing they still have what it takes as they take game number one. They're, oh man, I think Rocker's able to take that. And look at the KZ Fox rotate. Game first blood. They gotta be careful here because they're gonna rotate down. And un Rocker has his level for ultimate. But look at the damage coming from Dave. Wow. That is absolutely huge. The Abyssal Dragon is going to go the way of Rocker. Boom was here on the flank. Look at the kills going the way. But that is huge to re-engage the Malleys onto Dave as well. They're being pushed back and forth. What a brawl going on in the Zess. Yeah, look at KO there. Gonna win against Bobo. He's gonna trap Superman in. He's getting locked down here. He's gotta be careful. But it looks like Rocker is gonna be able to get the kill on him. And wow, what? So much more. He is the damage of Immortals. But Bobo, initiation, ALG rest, trying to go in, trying to find. There's the stun. Neo is gonna be the target. The Alice is getting absolutely wrecked. And next year is not finding that crucial shot for his team. The side of Legion is grouping up a lot of splash damage coming from Immortals as well as actually trying to counter on this. The Zenia ult is coming up too late as rest is going to fall. The Beam Row not there in time, but his extra is going to try and survive through this. But Dave's now the target as they're turning onto this. Tulin is going to fall as well. No, barely surviving going in. Rocker is oh, getting so no. low. He's the key damage. The Zenia ult is coming in, but Immortals is collapsing. Here we go. See if he's going to drop. This is exactly what he needs to do. Dave is there. He's strapped with this matter. The rest is getting very low. He's going to try and shake this out. MTS is in the back. He's trying to run away, trying to survive. You're lucky. Marad, he will not be. And look at that stun. Very well done by Immortals. And they're able to take game two from Allegiance. Wow, what a comeback. We predicted game number three, and Immortals was listening. Finding Casey Fox, that could have been huge. That's huge right there. Look at Dave. He's going to get caught in mid lane. And that is really unfortunate. Bobo is not going to be able to do anything. Look at the stuns. Rest on this Alice. Gage going in there. Rest is trying to survive through this. The hissy fit is down. Rocker has joined. Sleepy with the back, but it is going to be Rest falling. Rocker trying to survive through this, but a beautiful timing there. The second next tiers has that shock online. They make good use of it. They're looking for more. They need to follow Neo. It's such a good engagement, but they got to follow up. And look at KO. They're going as Wonder Woman. However, he's going to be able, he's going to get caught and be killed by Dave potentially here. And look at x tiers He's trying to get this. You look at the disparity and Allegiance taking it sleepy. Going so aggressive. The cycle from the back in. Neo is going to be the target. Tears is in full retreat, but somehow with the rotation, Dave is there. Able to pick up a counter kill as well. But now Immortals overstepping, trying to get too much here. They're they need to take the small wins when they get them because they're overextending so much. But finally able to get decent value as maybe Sleepy will fall as well. Yeah, and look at Sleepy. He's going to be able to get out. And look at the damage he's doing. He's able to jump out just in time. And MTS needs to be the focus here. Dave able to get himself out of his fit, but he's walked right into the Wonder Woman. And the alt is. ALG is looking on fire. The heal is there. The bait is real. And they are ripping Immortals apart. Oh, no. x -tier. Once again, a risky potential call coming in here from ALG. They need to be careful. KO's the target. But Neo instantly annihilated ALG. This time able to rally the crits coming in. Coming online, the Dark Slayer lies forgotten, but Immortals lies in pieces as ALG are diving with impunity. KZ Fox as well, getting solo, potentially gonna- Lakey? Oh. It's, it's GG. There's no way they're gonna come out of this oh. alive. Look at the tower just getting absolutely chunked. The stuns are there as well as they are pushing in onto the core. Rocker is hitting like a freight train right now. And with that, game number three, once again,